So let's build a very simple carousel header that runs across the top of your blog on, on a blog post page or a page. We can put this uh, carousel pretty much anywhere we like on the website, but I'm just going to demonstrate across the top of a particular page. <clears throat> now I've called it Slick Stream. The reason being that I got the inspiration from a product called Slick Stream. So what you've got is uh, film strips that run across the top of blog posts like that. And you've also got some other op tools like Slick Search, which is basically a, a quick way to find uh, products, but it's uh, based on the Ajax search technology. When you search for, when you type in a word, it begins to show you the results based on what you've already typed in. So today we're gonna look at two of the four options that Slickstream gives you. Now Slickstream is quite expensive, $25 minimum a month. The only other options that you get with it are the heartbeat and favorites, which are sort of this little button down in the, in the corner. And it kind of shows the favorites that people like, favorite posts based on the number of sort of hearts that people give it. Then you also have these games, which I'm not a fan of and analytics. You can use Google Analytics for this or there's plenty of other free tools that will do the same and give you great insights into what's going on in your website. For example, if you need to know which pages are being clicked on and which buttons are being clicked on and which links are being clicked on, including external links, you can track all of that in Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager. Anyway, on with the task at hand, which is to create this scrolling carousel. So what you will need for this is the Astra theme. So the Astra theme from Brainstorm Force is excellent WordPress theme. It's one of the best and it's super lightweight, but it comes with tons of features. One of the most important features in the pro version is the ability to create custom headers and custom locations around your website. So this is an actual custom header. We can put this anywhere. It's a very cool feature and um, not many themes give you real flexibility with this. You usually need another plugin or some extra code or you need to pay for something else. You also need the essential add-ons for Elementor. We're going to use the Elementor theme builder. We use the free version, not a problem. So moving onwards, what we need to do is in Elementor create a, a custom layout. Okay. So I've got one there, but I'm just going to build it from scratch. So let's call this film strip two. Okay. And we'll just save that draft and we want to edit with Elementor, right? So once that is ready and we've got the essential add-ons for Elementor installed, we can just search for our carousel. And you can see the essential add-ons. This is the one we're looking for, post carousel. So we want to drag that over. And yep, it's pulled in automatically from the website. This is not the way we want it to appear. So we'll try and make it look nicer. Now you can use the posts query, page query products. You can do so many different things here. We're just going to go with posts for the moment. Maybe put five in there because I want four across the screen. I want one slightly off layout settings. So I would go for medium large. We want to show the image, show the title. We don't want to show the excerpt and we don't want to show read more or meta. So it's quite simple, just the image and the title. From here, I want visible items four, and uh, we, we can change the way the, the carousel actually works. Slider speed, I'm going to really slow it down. It's way too fast. So 1600, let's see what that looks like. Yep. And the auto play speed, I'm going to slow that right down as well. Okay. So the infinite loop, yes. Pause and hover, yes. That means when we run over, it will actually stop looping. Okay. Arrows are these little icons here on the left and the right. Um, maybe you might prefer them off and dots are the dots at the bottom. Okay. So that's the layout settings and the carousel settings. Now what we want to do is go into style and I don't, when we roll over, you can see a little arrow there. I don't 
particularly like this. It's not a great icon. So let's just imagine that this is a food blog. This is all part of the Elementor icon library. When you look in here, it's not so easy to find what you're looking for. So for example, if I was to type uh, food, I get nothing. So it's a little bit awkward. So what you really need to do is go to the Font Awesome website and there's like 8,000 icons. This time if I put in food, um, I get plenty of options here. Let's just say I want utensils. So I'm back in the icon library and I put in utensils. We can see that utensils pops up. The color and typography, this is for the size of the titles. Now I would take off the H2, make it a H. H2 is quite important from an SEO point of view. And if you've got a lot of H2s on your web page, it might cause Google to think the page is about something else. So now what we need to do is actually add this to, well, first of all, we need to take away the, the menu and the footer at the bottom because this should just be a standalone Elementor Canvas. I'm just gonna go back to the dashboard and change this to Elementor Canvas and update it. So that's like a standalone custom layout. From here, we need to pick where exactly we want the layout to appear. And you've got a ton of options here. This is part of the Astra custom layout settings. So you can either put it as a header, but you can also put it as a hook. And with hooks, you've got tons of options. Put it to a header so you can see how this works. And then uh, we'll take a look at the different hooks. Display on, we want to put it on all posts. If you're running a blog, Okay, so from here, uh, we just pick a page. So I think the page was called Slickstream 2. So I update that. I go to the Slickstream 2 page. I'm just gonna refresh that and we get the uh, slider across the top. One thing we might wanna change here is we might want this to go out to full width and we can do that. So if we edit the custom layout, and edit with Elementor again. Select the section and just stretch the section and make it full width. Refresh that. And now we've got a full width header. So it's a, quite a cool effect and there's no extra plugin apart from the uh, essential add-ons for Elementor. Now let's imagine we want the uh, slider or the film strip to appear in a different part of the website. Maybe we want it just above the title or below the title. Instead of having it as a header, we want to put it as a hook. So we need to know exactly where um, to put that hook. And that's where we use the uh, visual hooks. And we want to put it under entry content before. And once you refresh that, you'll get the, the carousel below the title. So the second thing we can do to make this look a bit more like that Slickstream product, which costs $25 a month, is to work on the Slick Search. What we need is a tool plugin called Ajax Search Lights, and you can find that in the WordPress repository. You only need the free version. We can either use the search feature up here or we can put another search box up the top. At the moment, if I type in a particular word, nothing happens. I need to click enter. It needs to refresh the page. That's not ideal. So what we need to do is try to replace the team search with Ajax search light form to on. Save options. And we should see this box magically change. Type in pin. It should start searching and it's found two blog posts. Excellent, we've solved that problem immediately. Now let's say we want the uh, search box to appear in the top. Astra does have its own really nice uh, search feature, but I'll just give you a quick intro to how to put this style of box in the top right. Open up the customizer. I'm gonna grab the short code for Ajax Search Lite. I need to look for header, primary menu, and look for where it says last item in menu, and I'm gonna put that to HTML. And then we pop this in here, and you should see the same box appear. 